Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today I'm gonna to show you how to dynamically replace values using Power Query. So let's go. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, today we're talking about dynamically replacing values using Power Query. What do I mean by that? In a previous video, we showed you how to replace values in a column one by one, but what if you've got a long list of values that you wanna replace in Power Query and you don't wanna add 10, 15 values and 10, 15 steps to replace those values? Well, there's a trick we can get around that using a little bit of uh, M coding we can do that. So let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I've got some data here on some stores and uh, they're all over Canada. And we've got this column here for province, but we only have the abbreviation of each province and we want to replace the abbreviation with the actual province name. Well, we can easily go one by one and hit replace value and then replace, for example, SK would correspond to the province of Saskatchewan in Canada. We can click replace SK with Saskatchewan and so on for all 10 provinces in Canada. But that's gonna take a long time and it's also gonna create a whole bunch of steps here that's gonna slow down our query. So there is a way for us to do all of that into one step, but let's take it one step at a time. Okay, so the first thing is that we need to replace these values with something else. So let's just go ahead and replace one of them just as an example. So I'm going to replace ON for Ontario and I'll replace it with the word Ontario. And I'll click OK. All right, so we see that all of the ONs have been replaced with Ontario. Now, I don't want to do this step 10 times because it's going to, first of all, create a bunch of steps, but also it's gonna take me a long time. So we can do this dynamically by, in a way, almost like we're creating a new column. So actually let's add a new column and let's see how that will work. So I'm gonna go ahead to add column and it's gonna be a custom column. And I'm just gonna call it uh, province name and I'm just doing this to demonstrate how we can do this all in one step. So our province name is gonna be if the province column equals AB, then we'll call it Alberta. And then we'll do else if province equals BC, then British Columbia. And we'll continue to do this for all 10 provinces in Canada. Okay, so after I'm done coding this here, I'll just click OK, and then we can see the results. Now we see that SK corresponds to Saskatchewan, ON would have corresponded to Ontario, and so on. So how can we put these two steps together? Well, let's take a look at the advanced editor, which shows us our M code here. All right, so we're just gonna put the last two steps together. And let me break this up a little bit so that we can clearly see it. So this step here is our step to add a custom column. And this was our step here to replace 
O-N with Ontario. So I'm going to put this in a new line to make it really easy for us to see. Okay, so in this function here, which is the table dot replace value, it takes in a few arguments. The first one is just the previous step. The next one is what we want to replace. So we're in this case, we were replacing just the single value of O N. And then what do we want to replace it with? And then this is just the replacer text, which tells us uh, which column to apply this on. So here's the trick. If we replace this O N with each province. So now we're telling Power Query that we want to operate this function on the entire column. So not it wasn't, it's not just looking for the specific value of O N, we're going to be looking at each value in the entire column. And the thing that we want to replace it with is going to be exactly this formula that we created to dynamically create the province name. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy it over right up until the square bracket. And I'll replace this Ontario with this formula. And I'll just format this a little bit nicer to make it easier to read. So now we've replaced the single value of Ontario with this if else formula, which is a dynamic way for us to replace the values based on, on our criteria over here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this part of the code now because we don't actually need this. We since we're replacing the column province with the actual name of the province. And the only thing I have to watch out for as I deleted that step is to replace this step into the in argument here. And I'll click OK. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now I've dynamically replaced all of the province abbreviations with the province names. And if we take a look at the applied steps over here on the right, we can see that it's in one single step, which is quite amazing. It saves a lot of time, especially, you know, in our case here, we're talking about 10 provinces, maybe 10 provinces is not that bad. Um, but if you get into cases where you're replacing, you know, 20, 30 values, it can take a long time and having it done dynamically will save you a lot of time. So that's it. That's how you can dynamically replace your values in Power Query. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next video.